Hello, I'm Eric Moss, President of the Bryan Physician Network, United Way Board Member and Leadership Chair for the 2017 Employee Campaign. The generosity of Bryan employees during this annual campaign is amazing. Last year alone, more than 2,000 employees made gifts of various amounts and designations. Each and every one of us at Bryan has been touched by the generosity of these campaigns. Here are just a few of the impacts made possible for Bryan's patient care, capital, and education efforts. Hello, my name is John Trapp, and I am proud to be a pulmonary critical care physician at Bryan Medical Center. Some employees choose to support specific projects or programs, while others give an unrestricted greatest need gift. One such emerging need was the recreation of Busy Kits, a simple resource that is making a big difference for patients and staff at Bryan Medical Center. Busy Kits are a collection of items uh, that have been purchased for one-time use for our patients, particularly with dementia or altered mental status, just general agitation, something to meet their needs. Our confused patients and our dementia patients and our geriatric patients are the primary users of our Busy Kit items. It's a way to channel their energy, something that they can do to feel productive and focused. So if they're pulling on their cords, we have tangled toys, something that they can mess with. Um, or if they're stressed, we have stress balls for them. Or if it's a confused patient that's looking for their lost child, we have a doll for them to hold on to, something to help meet that need. Staff have really found the busy box items to be very useful, very helpful. We can avoid pulling IVs or telemetry leads or fully catheters out because they have something to hold in their hands or to focus on. And so it's a really valuable way to help our patients and decrease the workload on our nurses. Hello, I'm Wendy Muir, Director of Women's and Children's Health and the 2017 Employee Campaign Employee Chair. Brian collaborates with agencies across the region to improve the health and well-being of all people. One of our latest initiatives is called Stop the Bleed. This is a national training program that is being spearheaded regionally by Bryan Medical Center's Trauma Department. Stop the Bleed is a national initiative to train 300 million Americans, the average citizens, how to stop bleeding. Bleeding is the number one cause of death in trauma patients. Every day we see patients come into the trauma center from accidents and incidents, machinery, the farming equipment. If we can train those farmers, those communities, citizens of Lincoln, we can save one life. And I think that's what the campaign is all about, is empowering those non-professionals, those non-medical people, how to save a life. The generous donations given by employees and the providers and physicians of Bryan Medical Center really helped launch the Stop the Bleed program here at the Trauma Center. We were able to purchase state-of-the-art training equipment to take out on the road so people that we train really get the hands-on knowledge and hands-on feeling of how to put on tourniquets, how to pack wounds. And I think without the help of the foundation, they would not get the real life training um, from those simulators and so it's been wonderful to have the foundation support. More than a decade ago, the Employee Caring Fund was created to help Bryan employees during times of hardship. Gifts for the Caring Fund mostly happen during the employee campaign and display how we can help one another during difficult times. My husband, Scott, was diagnosed with colon cancer, and he did fight it for three years. And then in January of 2016, we were told it was time to find hospice. One of my favorite stories is 
when we knew that we didn't have much time together, our daughter and her boyfriend decided to get married and we were able to throw together the most beautiful wedding and she was able to be walked down the aisle with her dad and he was gone in three weeks after that. The Caring Fund allowed me to have peace of mind when we knew we only had about two weeks left to spend with him. It allowed me to just be with him and not worry about the bills. That was the biggest gift that I could have got was some peace of mind to know that I was okay and I could just be with him. Scott and I were married 26 years and he was an employee here at Bryan. He was a medical lab tech here at Bryan. He loved his job here. He knew that I got this gift and it pleased him greatly that Bryan supports their employees, that we really are a family. I'm very honored to work with them.